Hello friends, in this video I'd like to solve the following problem from the Romanian District Mathematical Olympiad for 12th graders 2019, problem number 4. Let A be greater than 1. We wish to find B greater than 1, satisfying the following equality. The integral from 0 to infinity, 1 plus t to the, po two to the, t to the power of A, all raised to the power minus B, dt, should be equal 1. So it's a nice problem, and I can use this video to introduce a new function to you. <laughs> so, here are my hints. First, justify that can be at most 1 be greater than 1, satisfying our equality. And crucial fact, do the following substitution. Instead, put t to the power of a plus 1 to be 1 over u. And express our integral in terms of the famous beta function. What is the beta function? Well, it takes two arguments, x and y, and it's by definition the integral from 0 to 1. 1 minus t to the power x minus 1, t to the power 1, y minus 1, dt. It, in, it, in, it converges for x and y greater than 0. And we will use two absolutely crucial facts about this function. First, this function can be rewritten in terms of gamma function. You may wonder what the gamma function is. Well, it's a function which extends the factorial function. It's given by integral. If you are curious, uh, gamma of x is by definition integral from 1 to infinity, e to the power of t, t to the power x minus 1 dt. And it happens to be that x factorial is gamma of x plus 1, or natural number x. So it extends factorial. And beta function can be expressed as gamma of x, gamma of y, over gamma of x plus y. And um, there is a recursion for gamma function, which is essentially extension of the recursion for factorial function. x times gamma of x equals gamma of x plus 1. And we will use this fact later. So give this problem a try and I will see you in just a minute. Alright, so first of all, notice the following, that, that there can be at most one number be satisfying our equation. Why is that you may ask? Notice, notice that for fixed a greater than 1 and t greater than 0, the function which takes b from 1 to infinity and maps it to 1 plus t to the power of a to the power minus b, this function is of course strictly decreasing. Because we are taking a number which is definitely greater than 1, and rather we are raising it to lower and lower powers, negative powers. Which means, of course, by continuity, that uh, our integral, our function which takes b and returns the integral 1 plus t to the power of a to the power minus b dt, this function is also decreasing. In, in particular, it's injective, so there is at most one at most one b greater than one satisfying that our integral from 0 to infinity 1 plus t to the power of a to the power minus b dt equals 1. There can be at most one such t. All right. How to find this number? Because it's the crux of our problem. Well, notice I will do the following. I will take my integral. I will take my integral. And crucial substitution. I will substitute, I will write it 
maybe right there. I will put 1 plus t to the power of a to be 1 over u. Because notice that then t is 1 over u minus 1 to the power 1 over a. To the power 1 over a. Which means that dt can be replaced by 1 over a. 1 over u minus 1 to the power 1 over a minus 1. Uh, times, using chain rule, we have minus 1 over u squared du. And what about the bounds of integration? Well, notice that since t goes from 0 to infinity, uh, if t goes to 0, then 1 over u should be equal 1, which happens when u equals 1. And if t goes to infinity, since a is greater than 1, uh, here we have infinity. 1 over infinity is 0, so u goes to 0. So our integral can be rewritten in the following way. Integral from 1 to 0. 1 plus t to the power of a is 1 over u to the power minus b. And instead of dt, I can put 1 over a, 1 over u minus 1 to the power 1 over a minus 1 minus 1 over u squared du. Right. Now, let's simplify this mess. First, I can use this minus right here to change these bounds of integration. So we have integral from 0 to 1. What else? Notice that here I have 1 over a. 1 over a is a constant, so we can put it in front. 1 over u to the power minus b is u to the power of b. Then I have 1 minus u to the power 1 over a minus 1. And it's over u to the power 1 over a minus 1. And I have 1 over u squared, which is u to the minus second power du. All right. I have 1 over a, integral from 0 to 1. 1 minus u to the power 1 over a minus 1. And what else do I have? Well, I have u to the power of b, u to the power uh, minus 1 over a plus 1 minus 2. So it can be all replaced by u to the power b minus 1 over a minus 1 du. Is it right? Let me take a look at my notes. Yes, it is. All right. And notice now this looks almost like the gamma function. Because remember, it, like beta function. Function, sorry. Beta of x y is by definition the integral from zero to one. One minus u to the power of x minus one. U to the power one minus one. U. So let's take a look. Uh, x is one over a. And y is b minus 1 over a. And we have 1 over a in front. Maybe let's write it in blue. All right. Mm, all right, all right. Notice also that both of these numbers are definitely greater than 0. Because, you may ask why is that, because, well, 1 over a, a is greater than 1, so of course it's greater than 0, and b minus 1 over a, 1 over a is f a number from 1 to 0, and b is greater than 1, so it's definitely a positive number. And now we'll use this crucial fact, beta of xy can be replaced by gamma of x, gamma of y, gamma of x plus y. So let's do it. So it's 1 over a, gamma of 1 over a, gamma of, maybe let's write it in purple actually, gamma of 1 over a, gamma of b minus 1 over a, over gamma of b over gamma of b. And also, we will finally use a recursion for gamma function, 
x times gamma of x happens to be gamma of x plus 1. And notice that here I have 1 over a times gamma of 1 over a. So it can be replaced by gamma of 1 over a plus 1, gamma of b minus 1 over a, over gamma of b. And now, crucial part, now we'll just guess uh, number b such that this whole thing is 1. And it's rather easy to guess, because note that if b equals 1 over a plus 1, this number right here, then, well, gamma of 1 over a plus 1 times gamma of b minus 1 over a over gamma of b. Notice now that uh, this and that are the same if b equals 1 plus 1 over a. And what is gamma of b minus 1 over a? Well, it's just gamma of 1. And what is gamma of 1? Well, recall the recursion for... Uh, Recall the fact that x factorial is gamma of x plus 1, or natural number x. So, gamma of 1 is just 0 factorial, and 0 factorial is 1. So we have guessed our solution, pretty easy to do, and we know that there can be at most one solution. So, so our answer... Our answer, the only answer, in fact, b equals 1 plus 1 over a. And this closes our problem. It's the only number greater than 1 which satisfies our equation. And that closes our problem. So, thank you very much for watching. I hope that you've learned something new this time, and I will see you next time. Goodbye.